It is that moment when you import a 4K 30fps video into your Filmora, having your project set to the maximum, and the preview quality to full. You hit play. The preview starts lagging when there is no option to render for a smooth preview. And that is when some weirdest plans and tricks start running in your mind. These situations often happen because some of these video clips are too heavy, especially when you don't compress them before importing. In the older versions, Filmora was allowing you to render either a single video or single image dragged into the timeline. However, after some upgrades even up to now, you cannot make a render for a smooth preview when you have a single video clip or image occupying one track, except if it is 50 or 60 FPS. So in this case, as I have said earlier, we are going to use a trick that formal editors know nothing about. In your media bin, just look for an image, any type of image will do the job. Drag it above your video, so you can lift it up, maybe even up to the 10th track. Double click and scroll down under image basic. On compositing, drop down the opacity to zero, then OK. Extend the image according to your video in down track, then lock this track. There you go, a red line appears on the top, hit render. And now you can smoothly preview the clip. Now, there are three things that affect the order of your files in the media bin when they are in the same category. And these are the view, sort by and group by. And as you can see, each of these three have got further options, and each of those options brings a different order set up. For example, if we can go to group by and change this to camera name, you will see a different order set up in the media bin. So now in this video, I'm not telling you the correct order that will put the latest import on top, I will do so if requested. But for now, I want you to be able to use one of the weirdest tricks to find your imported video or image without scrolling the media bin for two hours. So I'm sure my media is a good example because I added a lot of stuff here. So I will click here to import. You can see this is a video of a woman, with a faint blue background on her back. So as you can see the video isn't showing up on top, because of the order setup and I'm not going to make any scroll. What you do is to press your control key from your keyboard and then select anything that is on top. Then drag that thing you have selected into your timeline, so your latest imported video will be dragged together, then you can delete that you don't want to use. Now wait for the third one, because it's the weirdest, but if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do it now so that you won't miss any of these tricks. Now you must pay more attention to this one, because I want you to understand how this weird or informal trick can help you, so that you won't struggle in your next projects. In the main interface, down in the timeline, you can add markers to anything in the timeline. You can do that by pressing M from your keyboard or just click this small icon in the toolbar. Now, we usually add markers to keep a certain particular frame marked, and we do this for different purposes. Now, let's say you have advanced your text and you are on this text advanced window. And right in this window, you can't add markers, but what if you want to mark a certain particular frame, for a certain purpose? It's impossible! You can ask anyone! So here is how you are going to do it, select your text. So you press Alter from your keyboard, and then move your mouse to the frame you want and double left click. There you go, hit apply. And in your main timeline you will see a keyframe appearing, and that will save as a marked point. I hope you have enjoyed these weird, informal or illegal, whatever it is, so you can go ahead and check other hidden features or you choose to watch a whole playlist on how to use Filmora.